Here down in Toledo, Ohio, I happen to run into this gentleman. Your name, sir? Daryl. Daryl. Daryl, hold you. Oh, uh, 60. Okay. I take these uh, videos and I upload them to YouTube. You alright with that? Oh, uh, yeah. Did you turn that thing off? <laughs> oh, it's off. Yeah. Oh, it is off. Okay. So, uh, you're ready? So, you're how old? I'm 60. 60. And where are you from? Toledo, Ohio. Okay. And what type of work you had in the course of your life? Uh, factory work. Okay. And when's the last time you were working? Uh, it's been a minute. Okay. And uh, any drug or alcohol problems? No. Never? Yes. Okay, you got over them? Yes. Okay, a lot of people ask me, uh, what's the best way to do that? And what was your uh, drug of choice? Uh, pretty much, I'm an alcoholic now. Oh, you are? I just don't drink no more. Oh, thank you. See, that sounds like a... I'm a drug addict. I just don't do drugs no more. All right. Well, you got you, you got it figured out. How long has it been since you quit drugs? Uh, it's been 27 years on the drugs, but it's been five years on drinking. Okay. And what made you quit drinking? Uh, uh pretty much I wanted to. It, it didn't work out for me. All right. Did you get any help, or did you no. just do it on your own? No, I quit on Father's Day. Congratulations. Two, two, 2016. I got my last drink was Father's Day. And just quit? I got drunk Father's Day that Monday morning, woke up, and didn't have a drink since. Well, congratulations. That's hard to do. Good for you. Uh, now, are uh, you a religious man and all? Uh, I walk with, I walk with God and I walk with the devil too, because I do devilly things sometimes. Yeah. What would an yeah. example be of something you're not particularly proud of? Uh. But what I'm not proud of, yeah. uh, I'm not proud of myself, okay. it's the way I did myself, by doing drugs and alcohol. Okay. But I, I'm not going to beat myself up about it. Yeah, good, good thinking. That's cool. You know, yeah, so right. I'm going to just keep it moving. I'm good right today. Good. Now, do you, ever, are you, do you have a place to live? Yes, I do. Okay, good. Uh, it seems to me there's quite a homeless population down here in Toledo. Would yes, you? it is. Okay. All back over there where I'm headed. Okay. And uh, what's the reason for that, would you say? Um, drugs and alcohol, uh, babies raising babies. Okay. Uh, uh, people not, um, how should I put this? What was the question again? Yeah, I was just wondering, you know, like, what's the reason for the homeless? Uh, uh, people got choices. And a lot of the choices they make be the wrong choices and they become homeless. Okay. You know, yeah. so it can be help. Okay. Your favorite childhood memory? Excuse me? Your favorite childhood memory? Uh, my favorite childhood memory... Growing up playing football. Okay, were you any good? Yes, I was. Okay. Favorite movie? I don't have that. I, I, I don't watch uh, movies because it's, it's, it's made up. Okay. Favorite song? Uh, I, don't, I don't have one. Okay, do you have a favorite book? Nope. Okay. And what's your take on this coronavirus? Uh, oh, the coronavirus is, is, is worship. You know, uh, and the president knew about the corona when he was over in uh, China. And because I found out sitting on the edge of my bed. So if I had found out, they knew. And it wasn't no, no way over here in America. They should have shut it down there. Whoever's over in China to get quarantined now, they don't come over here. That's when they should have shut it down then. You know, yeah. So, and we wouldn't have that problem right now if they had did it then. Yeah, you're right about that. So, it's not a good feeling. Well, you got any questions for me? No. Well, I appreciate this. Thank you for the interview. Okay. You have a good day. You too.